Now, all this talk about like extreme LCS chassis, being able to fit massive liquid cooling, that's great and all, but what's the point if we're not gonna make it to actually fit the chassis itself? I mean, we had to kind of step into this arena and we showed you some of that when it came to uh, CES, we were doing, last year we were doing some interesting stuff. We were doing a little different when it came to Computex and now we have some more finished products here. As you can see, this is a full liquid cooling kit. So anyone who doesn't have liquid cooling already, this kit comes with everything you'd need for a 240 radiator, water block, fittings, tubing, cylinder reservoir, coolant, everything to get you up and running. And it is expandable because it has a huge D5 pump on this uh, reservoir. So therefore, you will have no problems getting it running and having tons of expandability whether you're talking blocks or more radiators. Now let's take a peek around the corner here where the rest of the liquid cooling is. And this is where we really started to kind of blow it up a bit. Okay, now with the liquid cooling, once again, you have the kits, that's great. But for someone who really wants to go crazy and do their own setup, that's where we have all these parts. So you can see, we don't just supply a few radiators, we supply all different sizes and all different thicknesses. So if you have a chassis that maybe doesn't have as much room up top, maybe you don't have a Corex series, maybe you have something that has a little bit of room, you can always go with one of these thinner radiators. You can still get a massive 360 radiator at a really thin profile, so it'll fit very easily. Then when it comes to cylinder reservoirs, we want to give a lot of options there. You have something like your uh, MCP355 already installed. You have your D5 with our special spin. You can see it has a red line with Thermaltake logo. Kind of gives us some design styling similar to what you see on our PSUs and things like that. Or if you want to go a little more extreme, we have the D5 with the mod kit. So it just pretties it up, makes it a really nice looking system. Or let's say you want to go really small. Let's say you have a core V1. You have a really small mini ITX chassis. You even got a little tiny cylinder reservoir with a pre-installed pump. Or we offer all these size reservoirs without a pump. And then of course you have, like you saw the graphics cards. Obviously if you're running multiple graphics cards, you need a bridge to be able to support them. So you have two-way, three-way, four-way. We want to make sure, once again, <clears throat> we want to be the total solution, not just you know, give you one part like the radiator. We want to have everything, all the accessories available, including, for instance, you have two different water block styles. Our thermal take water block, or the one we even had a partner we worked with to do a really high performance version for us, really high end water block. We have a lot of options just to give you a water cooling system the way you want it to be built. Dual five and a quarter bay, single D5 by its own, with a huge mod, with a mod kit makes it just really awesome. And then something really cool, we wanted to kind of see what the limits were when it came to some of our AIO hardware. So we actually took an AIO pump, ran the tubing, and pretty much found the biggest radiator we could, which was a 180 mil radiator, just to see what we can do it. Whether this will be a release or not, I guess you're just going to kind of have to watch and see because this is just more of us playing with the engineering side rather than really making a marketable product. But you never know. We do, we do some pretty crazy stuff sometimes, so this could always come down the road. Then we have hard tubing. That's something obviously a lot of modders are doing. It may not be something that everyone's going to do, but if you want that option, we're going to offer it to you. So we've even got things that are going to fit that. Here's a, here's a good lineup of most of the fittings we're going to have available when it comes to across. Obviously, you've got black and chrome to give you whether you want the black dark build or whether you want the chrome, the nice bright flash to it. Another thing is, like I said, maybe you need a slimmer profile setup for like your radiator, fans, whatnot. We went ahead and went with a slimmer profile, 10 millimeter thickness fan, so that you can still fit everything you need without a 25 mil thickness fan, because sometimes maybe you just can't fit that. Maybe it's gonna hit your RAM, what have you. We wanna make sure you have a solution that's gonna fit what you need. Then, we didn't forget air cooling. Air cooling, we have our Frio Silent Series, so you have your 1412 and your 14 Dual, which is similar to the Frio Extreme you saw before. It just has much more silent fans so that you still get really good performance, but you definitely get much less audibility when it comes to fan noise. We even have a prototype cooler here that we've been working on, which is another very extreme series chassis, or extreme series cooler itself, and you can see we actually put cutouts here so that the 2011 style uh, sockets with the memory on each side the memory will fit without issue. And that's a, really, that's a really huge thing because when you're talking about max capacity, and let's say you don't want to go water cooling, you can still have really good, really good thermal capacity without interfering with your RAM slots, which has been a problem before when you're talking massive air coolers.